Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to keep the Laceus species, specifically Laceus americanus. This will be a series, so if you enjoy this type of video, consider subscribing. So, you caught a Laceus americanus, or Niger, and it might even be your first queen. What is the best way to care for this species? The Black Garden Ant is one of the most beginner-friendly species you can keep. They're hardy, and can survive most mistakes you might have made. But if you want to grow your colony very large and fast, you want to give them the best living conditions they could possibly ask for. Number 1. Diet Your colony has its first couple nanotics and you want to know what to feed them. Feeding is separated into two types, protein and carbohydrates. Ants need protein to grow the colony and sugars to give them energy. Laceys love to eat insects like spiders and superworms, and early on you could feed them fruit flies or a cricket leg. Feeding them consistently is important, and you don't need to worry about them overeating. Just make sure when you catch wild insects that you know they aren't poisoned by bug sprays and that sort. If you aren't sure, you can always sterilize them by putting them in boiling water before feeding. Make sure you don't feed your ants house flies and wild cockroaches because they are definitely riddled with diseases and you want to keep your ants healthy and happy. Next is sugars. Ants love sugar. It keeps them energetic. A favorite of ant keepers is honey because it doesn't mold and it's easy to put a tiny drop for newer colonies. You can also feed them fruit flies like apples and pears and sugar water is also a favorite. I like to put brown sugar with water in a tiny test tube, blocked off with cotton inside my outworld, so I don't have to worry about consistently giving them platters of honey. Number 2. Formicarium As I said before, Laceus are hardy ants, and can live in most environments you give them, whether it be white tong, 3D printed, or natural nest. They want a good amount of moisture for humidity, but not too much. If they live in a natural nest, a few spritz of water every other day is enough, and if they live in manufactured formicariums, wetting the sponge hydration chamber every week is good too. Next is heat. They can live in room temperature, so about 20 to 22 degrees Celsius, but they will appreciate it going up to even 26 degrees. Just be sure you're not burning your ants, and don't keep that heat 24-7, and make it only a couple hours a day. Heat improves brood production, as well as the speed from egg to worker. So if you want a fast growing colony, you definitely want something like a heat cable or heat mat. The last thing is hibernation. If you live in a place where it gets really cold in the winter, you need to hibernate your laces to keep them healthy. Hibernation is when your ants become way less active and won't need much food, if at all, and maybe only a little bit of sugars. To hibernate your ants, you can put them in an environment where it's consistently around 7 to 15 degrees Celsius. This can be in a fridge, or your basement, or a garage, anywhere where a heater isn't present. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. This video took a while to make, so if you can, subscribe. It's free, and it would be pretty epic. Okay, bye.